been a busy couple of months at the state legislature and the session only about halfway finished. News 5's Allison Zimmerman in our newsroom tonight showing us what to look out for before the session wraps up. Ron Elizabeth, most of the bills introduced at the start of the session are still making their way through the House and the Senate, but Governor Jared Polis has signed more than two dozen bills, many of them dealing with funding for state agencies. But there are many bills we've talked about still in the process of the legislature. Uh, we're, we're happily on our way halfway through session, but obviously understand that we have a lot of work to do. State lawmakers have passed 60 days at the Capitol, and Senate President Leroy Garcia says the work isn't slowing down. That we'll have many, uh, many late nights, and I anticipate we'll have several weekends in there. At the start of the session, Garcia and Speaker of the House Casey Becker outlined some other top priorities, which included making education a high priority through more funding in K-12 schools and offering programs to recruit more teachers. So far, some of those bills addressing student loan forgiveness and behavior health programs for students are making their way through the legislature. Additionally, the Senate's top priority bill to expand a medication assisted treatment program currently in place in Pueblo County is moving on to a second legislative committee. That's not the way we do things down here. With a full Democratic majority, there's opposition with many pieces of legislation this year, including recent bills introduced quickly and sent to committee within a couple of days. Lawmakers are also expected to introduce legislation in the coming weeks dealing with paid family and medical leave. As always, we'll keep an eye on these bills and let you know what happens. Always watching out for you. Southern Colorado, Allison Zimmerman, News 5.